Good morning, everybody. My name is Sean Carlson. I am from Williams Lake, British Columbia, and I am going to be showing you guys how to make pancakes from scratch off a recipe that I got off the internet. I have already everything measured out in front of me, so that way I can get this all done in under 10 minutes. YouTube does not allow anything under 10 minutes, so I really have to hustle on this one. So before I start, I'm going to put my pan on the oven. And then I'm going to show you guys what it is that you need to have to cook pancakes. First off, you need one and a half cups of all-purpose flour. You need one tablespoon of sugar, one teaspoon of salt, three and a half teaspoons of baking powder. You're going to need one and a half cups of milk one egg, and three tablespoons of melted butter, but I used margarine. You're also going to need a soup ladle, a wire whisk, and a mixing bowl. So, now let me show you how to put it all together. You take the flour, you put it into your mixing bowl. You take the sugar, you put it into the mixing bowl. You take the salt, you put it into the mixing bowl. You take the baking powder and put it into the mixing bowl. If any of you have any differences in how to make pancakes, remember, I am making this off a recipe that I got off the internet. This has nothing to do with the way I make pancakes. This is a recipe that I got off the internet. You take these and then you mix them all up in the mixing bowl. Now, next thing I'm going to add is the milk, the egg, and the melted butter. Here goes the milk. Here goes the egg. Here goes the melted butter. Now, I mix that all up in my bowl. And most people have an electric mixer, but I don't have one, which is probably what my next investment is going to be. Between flour and milk, those two ingredients are the main ingredients. And if you don't have the right mixture of flour and milk, you can really sure fuck up a pancake mix which screws up the pancake itself when you cook it, which screws up the time on how long it takes for it to cook. Once you got this pancake into your pan or your skillet or whatever it is that you are using to cook your pancake, it should roughly take you two minutes to have a nice golden brown tan on the underside of the pancake. Now there are two ways that you can make pancakes. You can use this original from scratch recipe that they have done for hundreds and hundreds of years, or you can be a fucking candy ass motherfucking wuss and you can use Aunt Jemima's instant pancake mix. Now if you want to keep your girlfriend, you start from scratch. If all you're happy with is a good one night stand, then you go ahead and you make instant pancakes all you want. There is nothing more sexier to a woman than a man who can cook. So, now that I got this all stirred up, hopefully this pancake turns out pretty good. If you have your pan on too hot, then that means the center of your pancake is going to be too runny. If you have your skillet to your pan too warm and it takes too long, the inside of your pancake is going to be too stiff and everything is going to be burnt. So, using a soup ladle, I'm going to put this into my pan, which I already have heated up. Before I do that, I'm going to put a tad bit of margarine into the skillet. And then I'm going to take and spread that around quite nicely. 
Now, you do not want to use a metal pancake flipper on a Teflon pan because that scratches the Teflon and that exposes the metal. When you wash it, the water will react with the metal on the pan and it will create rust, which is poisonous. So do not use metal pancake flipper on the Teflon. You use plastic. Depending on the size of pancake that you want is the size or the amount of stuff that you put in onto the pan. And like I said, it should take roughly two minutes for this to have a nice golden brown tan on the underside. Let me show you what it is that looks like that I have made. Right there is a size pancake on a 15 inch frying pan on the oven, which is about, let's see here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, on 5 eighths of the heat that is on the oven, which is one notch more than medium. In two minutes, I should have a nice golden brown pancake on the underside of that, which should be ready to flip. I hope that everybody that watches this video has an idea of how to cook a pancake from scratch. My name is Sean Carlson from Williams Lake. I'm glad to have made your acquaintance.